how important has health and fitness been to you over the last decade or, or longer even? Now? Well, I'll even go back. Part of drama school training is physical movement. I've continued that all through my 50 years as an actor and physical fitness now is vital. So when I went into the health and fitness business, that, um, that was a little bonus for you then? It was a huge bonus, <laughs> thank you very much indeed for doing it. Yeah, because I, I've, I've actually learned so much from you. I think, I, it's no embarrassment to say, it put 10 years on my career and my life. That's amazing. Since I've actually been qualified as a, as a nutritionist and a personal trainer, I, I feel like I have been able to bring some, some value to you and um, give you and help you with the, with the nutrition and the training yeah, side of things over actually, the years. Actually, if I'm allowed to say so, you've opened my eyes to nutrition. Right. I knew nothing about it. <laughs> have, you, have you got any bad habits? Well, I had all the bad habits. <laughs> I had every bad habit you could ever imagine. And I used to think that uh, either full fasting was the way to go, and I was always trying this diet and that diet and that diet and that diet, and um, didn't know, you know, carbohydrate, fiber, calories. I mean, you drive yourself crazy. Right, it's a minefield. It's a minefield. Yeah. I can now live and eat in a way that is totally normal, but I know because of what you've taught me, what things to eat, how to eat, and what things not to combine with. I want to say um, how I've actually, I found you inspirational. <laughs> well, I do. Um, uh, just the way, the meticulous way that you you manage your nutrition. Uh, and I know you I know you go in, in waves and often that's synced with the work you're doing. Yeah. Um, but when you're when you're really focused on achieving something, with it, whether it's the training or the nutrition, how dedicated you are to it, and and I hope that I can be as interested in in, in nutrition and health, and I hope I will be um, when I'm in my seventies. But I think that's important for everybody, every single person. Nutrition and fitness. You read about it, you hear about it, you get told about it. But how often do we actually do it? Something else that stands out to me is how how you and Mum uh, are such are such regular gym goers, and you're really both of you into your into your fitness in a way that I'm not sure many of your many people in your generation are. Do you feel like there's more value in your training now than perhaps it was in your in your forties? You know, strangely enough, I think it's more important now than it was when I was younger. The older you get the stiffer you get. Mm -hmm. So regular exercise is the key. We age faster the less we move, the less yeah. we, we exercise. Exercise just replaces movement because we don't move enough in our, in our lives day to day. The other side of it is, as I'm now over 60, I find I need to also slow down meditate, mm. calm down, stretch, really have good stretches and that's where, where yoga comes in. You can't just train hard every time you train no. and go to the gym, you've got to have the yin to yeah. balance out the yang. People like me who come, who come to classes need to have confidence in the person who's standing in front of you. All the instructors I've chosen, they've got lots of history of one-to-one -one work. I must admit, I'm rather biased. I want to come to your classes. <laughs> well, you're a natural. You're a natural teacher. And uh, Stop it. No, it's not. I mean it. I mean it. I absolutely mean it. You're very strict. But what you do have, and what is very important, especially for people like me, is you have an eye for detail. And it's not just the exercise. It's what you call the form. Am I doing it correctly? Mm. And that's terribly important. And you're very, very strict on that. <laughs> not too strict, I think. Strict enough, though. I have to. I have to do it correctly. So, Rob, you're not easy on him because he's your dad. Definitely not. <laughs>